Hello everybody on Facebook. Paula Nowak here from Canine Country Academy with your CCA Live for today. And our theme this month is Tis the Season for Trouble. Now, I don't know if you've been tuning into our series, but if you're new here, what we're talking about are challenging behaviors during this winter season. You know, today is a really good example here in Georgia because it is just flat out gross. And um, that means that we're probably not going to get ourselves out in this mess. Um, honestly, it's probably safer, safer to stay home based on the traffic. And um, we're not going to get our dogs out. And they might not play in the yard, they might not get a walk, they might not even get a car ride in this weather. And honestly, a lot of you are very busy getting ready for the holidays or wrapping up things for the end of the year, traveling. You know, there's so many variables in winter where we just don't do enough with our dogs. So the goal with these live feeds is to give you tips and tricks and training to prevent those troublesome behaviors. And I thought what we would do today is talk about a topic that is applicable for the season as well as things like New Year's and July 4th. You guessed it, it's stress. We're all stressed out. We're not gonna talk about human stress too much today, but there are definitely things you can do to de-stress yourself. And I hope you do those things. Um, because self-care when we love animals is really important too because how can we take care of them well if we're not taking care of ourselves what i wanted to cover today was natural calming aids these things are things we recommend all the time some of us have actually had to use them for stressed out dogs and some things will be helpful and some things won't be the right fit for your dog just like each of us we're individuals and Certain things are going to work on me, and I can see Rachel Emery's on. You know, certain things are going to work for her. Um, it's not going to work for both of us. We're both women, but it doesn't mean that, you know, lavender is going to be the best fit for both of us. One of us might really like lavender, and the other likes some sort of other essential oil or smell or way to relax. The same is true with your dogs, and your dogs have their own unique chemistry. So each dog in your house might have a different need as well. I'm going to cover some things that we use ourselves or that we recommend and we find success, but there are so many things out there, products and different techniques you can use to calm your dog. So don't take this as this is the only thing. There are many things. In addition to these natural calming aids we're going to talk about, we want to make sure that you have your dog at the vet on a regular basis to make sure there's nothing physically going on. If you have a dog who all of a sudden doesn't feel well, especially when the weather changes or your schedule changes, it might be that they're arthritic. Even younger dogs can have early arthritis for various reasons. You know, they're not always built as they should be. It might be something going on with their blood work. So if you have something going on with your dog, don't just assume it's behavioral in nature. When you call us for a behavior consult, that's one of the first things we're gonna recommend is that your dog goes and gets a physical at your vet. Meaning they check the blood work, eyes, ears, teeth, structure, all the things to make sure that your dog is healthy. So if you've done that and you need a couple calming aids, always, always consult with your veterinarian because I'm not one. And uh, these are some of the things that we recommend, but always we wanna say, caution. And at the end of this video, I will post in the comments links to all of these items that we're going to discuss today. And feel free to ask questions now or after the live feed. I do want to note that these things that we are recommending, we are Amazon affiliates, which means we'll make a little bit of money if you click on the links that are Amazon related. And we have to let you know that because that's the rules. All right. So if you have any questions, please post those in the comments down below. If you have tried anything with your dog to help them reduce stress, I want you to put stress in the comments to let me know you have dealt with stress with your dog as well. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is something that you might not have heard of unless you've talked to one of us. It is Zilkeen, or also known as Lactium. This is a natural milk protein 
I'm not a scientist or anyone in the medical field, so I'm not going to dig into what it is. I've personally used it, and I know many of my colleagues have used it as well with their dogs. The Lactium is the human version, so for your larger dogs, it's more cost effective. You just need to talk to your vet about is this appropriate and is it the right amount. But it's a natural milk protein that can reduce stress. This can be for seasonal stress, when you're getting ready to move, thunderstorm season, those kind of things. Most products do need to build up in the system, and this is definitely one of them. Most people see something within two weeks um, of you know having their dog take this. Zilkeen is the dog formula, um, and you can buy that on Amazon, as I mentioned. But do your research, make sure it's the right amount, make sure it's the right thing for your dog. I'll also include a link in the comments that talks about how to dose your dog and what you can expect from it. Things I might recommend um, for a dog that could benefit from Zilkeen is thunderstorms, um, like I said, moving, just re being really busy, just general anxiety. It just takes the edge off a little bit. With anything that you're going to use as a supplement for your dog, or even if you have to go into pharmaceuticals, talking to your vet or a behaviorist, is it's going to take time to build up. Not everything works for that individual. And also, you can't just do medication always. You have to do some behavior modification or confidence building. There's no quick pill. I wish there was, because then we would just prescribe it, right? That, that's the same with human uh, issues. So make sure that you're applying both the physical things as well as behavioral things when you're working with your dog. <laughs> and I see Nancy says she has had to deal with dog stress, <laughs> and she even added a little exclamation point, so that makes it a little more intense, right? So Zilkeen is my go-to. It's my number one. I've tried it with my own dogs um, when they've needed it, and it's been helpful. Sometimes it works for a period of time, and then maybe you have to go on to something stronger if the dog's not doing well. But it definitely is something that you can try. And like I said, Lactium, it's the human version. So um, if it's appropriate for you, maybe you need some Lactium as well. The second thing I'm going to talk about is Rescue Remedy. Most people have heard of Rescue Remedy or Bach Flower Essence. Rescue Remedy is a certain Bach flower essence that was designed to reduce anxiety. It comes in a dropper. Sometimes you can get it at the health food store or you can buy it on Amazon or other places. They probably sell it on Chewy.com. And you can put that into their water. You can put it on a treat or a piece of bread. I have found the most benefit from directly giving it to the animal. I wouldn't recommend with any of these forcing your animal to take them. If they're saying they don't want to, there could be a reason. And we don't want to add undue stress by giving them a pill or something that they don't want to ingest. So I realize that, you know, that's really counterintuitive. But just because you think lavender is going to help your animal or any of these other products doesn't mean we should sit upon them. So think about maybe there's some training involved so that they'll take it, but there's different ways to get it into them, right? And when you use Rescue Remedy, make sure you're using the uh, pet formula because there is alcohol in the human one. Probably not the worst thing in the world, but just know that there is a pet formula. And follow the directions on the bottle. It's a small bottle, but a little goes a long way, and some dogs find relief from this. And again, I think directly is the best. All right, so we've got Zilkeen Rescue Remedy, which is a buck flower essence. The other thing you can also um, do is something outside of the body, like a Thunder Shirt. Most people have heard of Thunder Shirt. They do a great job of marketing. I even see them on regular TV marketing. You know, they have all different products now. And um, with that, you know, not all dogs are going to love it, right? Not all dogs are going to want to be swaddled. But the concept behind it is that it's going to create pressure in certain areas of the dog's body, and it's based on T-touch or Tellington touch to help the dog bring down their anxiety. Have any of you tried a weighted blanket? Or maybe you um, know someone who has. It's similar in that way that it provides pressure, but it's not overwhelming. We're each going to have a different experience to that. So some of us might really find it comforting to have a weighted blanket, while others find it very uncomfortable and just, you know, would be too much. So ask your dog always what they think of it. 
but the Thunder shirt is a nice option. It has Velcro, so some dogs need to be desensitized to the Velcro. You might have them just wear it over their body, you know, just draped, not even attached. Let them smell it. You can even put some of that, um, you know, relaxing smells on it, whether it's a, a spray or um, lavender always asks the dog how they feel about it first to make sure it's safe for them. I know that the newer Thunder shirts actually have a circle on them to put something that's a little more absorbent so they can, you know, smell it a little bit longer. So that's another option. With the Thunder shirt, you can also use an ace bandage, like those old school ace bandages that you would wrap your ankle if you sprained it, not the ones that are really clingy. You can use that to create a half wrap. So I'll share that in another um, video on how to do a half wrap or a body wrap. That's also based on T-Touch. So if you have an old school ace wrap, you could start there before investing in a Thunder shirt. Thunder shirts range in price. The one I looked up today on Amazon was about $40. We have them on 50% off sale right now for $20, no matter the size. So if you need one, let us know. But this is something that you know you can easily put on the dog. Some dogs really like tight-fitting shirts. It just makes them feel comfortable. Again, not great for all dogs, but it's definitely something to try. And you might be using Zilkeen and a Thunder shirt, so you're getting, you know, internally you're helping them, and then externally you're helping them. So one of these is just not always enough. So I'm going to pause here and see if you guys have any questions. Have any of you tried? calming aids with your dogs um, aside from pharmaceuticals if you have post them in the comments down below so that others can see and maybe i can explore some things that you've tried that i didn't know about look at we've got a good turnout today thank you all thank you for attending our live feed tomorrow we're going to be having just an open question and answer i'll definitely have things to talk about if you guys don't think of any questions but we're going to have open question and answer at four o'clock tomorrow talking about troublesome behaviors this season all right you guys are a little quiet a little shy and maybe you haven't tried some of these calming aids I get it that's why you're here another one that we recommend is a DAP product so DAP stands for dog appeasing pheromones now I have no idea how they make this but some dogs, it really helps them. So a dog appeasing pheromone is like the smell the mom dog would give off when they were pups. And this can help them to feel comforted. And I know for sure with a blue tip coon hound who named Olivia, this really helped her with her thunderstorms along with some other things. So it comes in different shapes and sizes, I guess, different forms. You have a collar, that's helpful for dogs who have general anxiety, so they need something on them all the time. The collar lasts about 30 days. And when you're using DAP products, the one I, I like the most, um, the company is Adaptal. So the Adaptal brand, I just think it's the best quality. I've tried some others and others, they were kind of flaky and that just wasn't appealing, putting that on my dog. You could also use the collar when it's situational maybe it's just when you go out in public you know they're fine at home if that's the case what I would do is just take it off of them if they're comfortable with that and then put it in a ziploc bag so that way you're maintaining its integrity and not wasting it when they're just around the house and they don't actually need it the DAP product also comes in a plug-in as well as a spray the plug-in is great if your dog tends to stress maybe in a kennel setup it can be in that room or that area only. It wouldn't be beneficial for traveling because it's in one location. They also make the spray. You could put that on your Thunder shirt. You could put it on a collar or a bandana. Always let the dog explore it and smell it first. Uh, less is more because their senses are so intense that we don't want to overwhelm them with that smell and then create an aversive. But those are different ones you can use that are more situational, right? If I only have an issue when we're traveling I could spray it so the dog can smell it when we're traveling what you want to be careful with this kind of product is if you're only using it when something stressful is going to happen so let's say I only pull out my adaptive spray when we're going to the vet and the dog hates going to the vet then I for sure need to spray it other times so it doesn't become a cue or a predictor or a trigger that the icky thing in their mind is going to happen we don't want to do that 
I really like the spray option. I feel like it's the most cost effective because you can use it as you need, but if you need it all the time, then the collar would be appropriate. And I definitely have used Adaptal products a lot with my own dogs as well as client dogs because they sometimes they just go through periods where it's stressful. Maybe you're preparing to move or having company, maybe the dog's going through something physically, you know, having a medical issue, it's a good idea to give them something to help them calm down because it's not great for them either to have all that adrenaline flowing through them. All right. So I'm going to check in with you guys here. Um, oh, great. So Nancy's using the Thunder shirt and spray for Dozer's crate. So he doesn't love it when she leaves. So that's helpful. Um, oh, a chill out spray. Okay. And uh, not sure, but the dogs like the smell, all right. And um, with the chill out spray, is that a Thunder Shirt product or where did you get that for um, Lotus and Sunday? I am not familiar with that. Some people even make essential oil blends. You just wanna make sure it's high quality and it's not something that's gonna harm your dog. Again, with any of these products, I always have to use that as a you know warning that we don't wanna use anything that's going to harm our dog um, or create more stress for them. And if you're ever unsure, of course, talk to your vet, do research. You know, we don't want to get ourselves in trouble using products that could actually harm them. The final thing I wanted to share with you today is another exterior thing you can do, which is music. So you can use certain kinds of music. There is Through a Dog's Ear, which I'm going to put in the link. They also have an iCalm, which is a a device that you can just put anywhere which is really nice and I have a client who uses it in the main part of her home and she finds it really helps with uh, thunderstorms specifically but the music is designed specifically to calm the animal it even calms us honestly it um, is designed to make your heart slow down and they make products you can use in your car so that you don't fall asleep at the wheel. That's really important if you're sensitive to that. I know back in the day when we had daycare and I went to help uh, and we had six o'clock you know, check-in times and we listened to it, we were falling asleep <laughs> at 6 a.m. to through a dog's ear. I find that it's very helpful for dogs. We use it in our office when we create our dogs in the office sometimes. It also is some white noise for the dog. There are other products out there. You could use calming music that just you find on the radio, you know, a smooth jazz, something calm. There's also um, dog TV that you can put on that has different things to help them. Maybe there's a calming time. I think they do that based on the day, how they program their system. But there are so many things out out there to help your dog be less stressed that's natural and I always want to go the natural route unless the dog is really suffering and they need something else of course you want to go off and pursue something more intense something pharmaceutical acupuncture there are so many things that we can help our animals be less stressed now and always all right, so I'm going to check in with you guys one more time. Please feel free to ask questions or share your own input on natural calming aids. Some of these things you can find at your local pet stores or boutiques. You can order them online. Like I said, I'm going to share with you links after the broadcast in the comments that you can, you know, Pick up on Amazon and get it shipped in a couple days if you have Amazon Prime. If you don't, you must not order enough of Amazon. It's just so worth it. Um, I'm not an affiliate for that. But I want to make sure you guys had some tools thinking about the holiday coming up and then especially New Year's when everybody's going to be popping off fireworks. And uh, that can be really you know, unnerving to me, but also to the dog sometimes. Okay, checking in with you guys again. Aroma dog. Okay, so for the chill out spray, Aroma dog makes it. it has chamomile, lavender, and oh, I always hate saying this name. I think it's marjoram. <laughs> I, hopefully, I'm saying that right. Erin will have to correct me in person if I did not. But uh, yeah, an essential oil blend is fantastic. Whether you buy it pre-made or you make it yourself, just always go light when you're starting and uh, make sure it's high quality. Well. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys today about natural calming aids. We offer so many classes to help stressed out dogs. It's really our specialty. We help dogs who are going to have a fight response when they're worried or look aggressive. 
They're going to be silly when they're fearful. They jump around all over you. We call it fool around. We help dogs who run away who are very shy when they're fearful. Uh, we offer a shy dog class, which we'll probably offer late February, early March. And we also help dogs who go into a more of a freeze response where they just stop. That's a little scarier sometimes. But those things are really important, and we do that through our reactive program, through shy dog class, through scent work, through private lessons. We offer the gamut because our specialty is behavior, and we want to prevent it as well as be proactive and help resolve behavioral issues. Sometimes our dogs come with these issues. It's not something you've done, or maybe it's something that you did contribute to, but you had no idea because you didn't know. And we want to make sure to support you so that your dog can have a less stress life, which means less stress for you, and really enjoy their life. That's why we have them with us, right? Thank you so much for tuning in. Tomorrow, like I said, four o'clock Eastern time, I'm gonna answer any questions you have. I'll pick a couple topics to talk about as well. I'm never uh, lacking topics to talk about when it comes to dogs and dogs with people. So tune in then. If you're watching this after, feel free to post comments as well. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Stay warm and dry today.